Okay, you're at the point in your journey where you're looking to add more muscle and you're probably wondering, what's more important? Is it the workouts that you're doing? Is it the nutrition that you're eating? Or is there some magical supplement that we can take that's guaranteed to pack on muscle? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna answer that question for you. Now, before I go on, make sure that you give the video a like. And if you're looking for further nutrition coaching, then go to our website, www.fitclub.fit. Now, first off, we gotta understand that even on the best diet, that if you're eating chicken breast and broccoli and green beans six times a day, like the gurus say, and you did not work out, and in fact, you got bedridden for 28 days, that eating healthy alone isn't going to give you any types of muscle. Because if you were completely bedridden for 28 days, you will actually lose muscle. So to say nutrition alone is gonna be able to give you the muscle that you're looking for, I'm gonna tell you right now, it's not. But even if you were to eat terribly, or you were to stay in a caloric deficit and you went to the gym and you worked your muscles to their max for 28 days, I guarantee you that you're gonna see more muscle gains that way than if you had a perfect diet and you did no workouts. So when it comes to working out and nutrition, I would say that working out harder, but also working out smarter, challenging your muscles, pushing yourself to the point where the muscles have no other option but to grow. And even if you ate bad or you're in a caloric deficit, you're still going to see muscle. And even if you just ate carbs for 28 days, but you pushed your muscles to the max, yes, protein is the building blocks for building muscle, but if you provide any types of nourishment to those muscles and you made them work to their max ability for 28 days or longer, you're going to see muscle gains. But if you're working out and you're pushing yourself to the point where the muscles are getting and adding more muscle because it's required for what you're doing for it, if you actually want to physically see the muscle gains, then that's when nutrition comes of importance. Because you can pack on muscle and there could be a ton of body fat over top of that muscle and you won't be able to see it. In fact, right now, take a second, squeeze your stomach as hard as you can and point in there, okay? Are the muscles on the top where the skin is or are the muscles buried underneath some donuts? And so this is where your nutrition kicks in. That if you actually want to see progress, so you want to be able to see it with your own eyes in the mirror, then you have to have good nutrition. But if you just want to pack on muscle alone and not be able to see it, but you know that you're packing on muscle because why? Because well, you can feel the muscle density that's forming underneath the fat, but also you could be lifting heavier and have been consistently lifting heavier for the past 28 days. So example of that, let's say you started bench pressing the 15 pound dumbbells, okay? And then over 28 days, you've progressively gotten yourself to push and do a little bit more weight each time. And by the end of the month, you're up to 30s in each hand. Well, now you've just doubled your strength and strength and muscle come hand in hand. That's why you'll see a lot of those power lifters, why they're so thick and muscular, but they eat a ton of calories because the muscle thrives in a caloric surplus. And so they're able to lift heavier. But for you, if you actually want to see the muscle that you've gained, then you have to find that perfect balance of working out hard, but also keeping your calories at bay so that you're not adding more body fat and more layers to cover up that muscle. Okay, so nutrition and working out in the case of if you're watching this video, have to go hand in hand. When it comes to just building muscle, nutrition, not so important. Is it, you know, is it important? Yes, it's important, but it's not so important to if you just want to isolate in on muscle alone. And nutrition, if you're looking to see more muscle or gain more muscle, but you don't actually challenge the muscle, is meaningless, okay? You can have all the protein in the world, but if you're not challenging your muscles, then there's no action, so there's no stimulus, then there's no muscle gain. So you need the two in conjunction if you actually wanna see muscle and you actually wanna gain muscle. Now, what about supplements? We all hear about these supplements out there that are supposed to help and gain muscle, right? Like creatine is a big one. 
A lot of the women that are working out right now, they understand that creatine helps to, you know, to build muscle, like it gets generalized. And those supplements will do nothing <laughs> if you do nothing, right? So again, it goes back to that cycle. So there is no one muscle or one supplement that you can take that's gonna be guaranteed to get muscle. Even if you took, you know, copious amounts of steroids, right? Like the bodybuilders do. But if you're bedridden, you would only really be able to maintain the muscles that you're actually working. But if you completely laid flat and all you did was just breathe and open your eyes and didn't move your arms or legs, then guaranteed all those steroids would create more problems internally for you than they would actually build muscle. So there's no amount of supplements or what types of supplements that's gonna take you from having no muscle to having muscle. If you don't use it, you lose it. Okay, so it doesn't matter what supplements you're taking. Supplements are only those to the supplements of the workouts that you're doing and the supplements to the food that you're eating. So I would say supplements are on the lowest podium of importance. Working out would be number one when it comes to muscle. The nutrition is important to feel the muscle so that you can actually lift heavier or push yourself harder. But the nutrition is also important when it comes to actually wanting to see the muscle gains through body fat. And then last but not least, supplements are there to give you a slight boost to your nutrition and a slight boost to the workouts that you're doing. So what would I tell you? You need to work out more, work out harder, work out smarter, and the nutrition plan that you follow is in line with your goals. If your goal is to just pack on muscle and you don't care how you look, then you can eat in a caloric surplus because that's gonna fuel your workouts to lift out heavier. But if you actually wanna see results, of the muscle coming through where the body fat and the muscle start to you know differentiate between percentages then you want to make sure that your nutrition's on point and then understand that supplements are going to give you a boost but they can never replace a great workout and they can never replace a great meal so guys if this is a video that connected with you make sure to give the video a like if you're looking for a muscle building program where you can still see your abs and you're still gaining strength, then visit us at www.fitclub.fit and mention the belly burn.